Welcome everyone to Spy to this key channel. Kids Juna Mutawung, the sporting director of Kids Chiefs, has just given us the latest update about his newly elected um, uh, technical team. Said that the four of them that have joined the Nazaradi Nabi uh, to head Kids Chiefs, and he even said that he trusts this man, trust the man, trust these people that they will deliver which is what we are waiting all of us right we're waiting to see if they will really pull this one up because first time that case chiefs hires a coach not just one person but with his entire uh, backroom staff for there it's i'm a cool so great changes great reformations we are hoping to see new planning and a uh, new style of playing uh we are hoping to see them at Amakosi. So Nazaruddin has been given a two-year contract with the possibility of extension. We know if everything goes well according to Ben because we know if they do not deliver, Amakosi fans will just um, react and this entire thing will just uh, collapse. And not only the coach will collapse and his entire staff, oh, they will go down if they do not uh, uh, implement so they will need to deliver because this is like the reformation of the entire uh, uh, squad management so we're hoping and we want to see the results but uh, let us get uh, the news of what is really happening Kiz Chief Sporting Director Kiz Mudang Juna has labeled new coach Nalradin Nabi the right man as the club officially introduced their new technical team. Following much speculation, reports Chiefs this week officially. Following much speculation and reports, Chiefs this week has announced the arrival of Nabi as their new head coach following his spell with SFAR in Morocco. The 50-year-old Tunisian link up with his new employers in Turkey, where they are currently on pre-season camp with confirmation that he has signed a two-year deal with an option for further year. Mutawung Juna now believes Amakosi finally the right man at the helm at Soweto Giants look to turn their fortunes around after nine years of agony, which have yielded no trophies since Stuart Baxter's first experience ended in 2015. After what has been a fairly exhaustive vetting process, uh, gave us great pleasure to finally welcome our new head coach to Casey Chiefs, um, says sporting director Keiza Mudawin Jr. We believe we have found the right man to fulfill our vision of still restoring Amakose to our rightful place um, at the top of the football pyramid. Uh, and we welcome Coach Nabi and his technical team with the pledge of unity and support in pursuit of our common goal. Nabi's arrival was pre Decided by that of a second assistant coach, Hernando de Cruz, who jetted into South Africa at the start of July to officially get the club's preseason training underway. Also, part of the former Young Africans Montos backroom staff is Trates First, assistant Kalen Bin Yusuf, with whom Nabi won back to back troubles in Tanzania and finished second in the Badola Pro League with Far replacing Renan Dinklega to the head of the goalkeeping department is Liz Mzuchi, who previously worked with the Tunisian giant experience the Tunis and state Tunisian. Lastly, Safi Majdi is the new strength and conditioning coach, bringing with him experience from the likes of Adoli, Ducey Hell, Raja Casablanca and Wedded Atlantic Club. On this day, they have now unveiled their new head coach in Chiefs Colors, confirming he penned a deal until 2026 with an option to extend it by one year. In addition, Chiefs announced their new head coach technical team, consisting of two assistant coaches, one goalkeeper coach, and one strength and conditioning coach. First assistant coach is Kalen Ben Youssef. He worked with Coach Nabi recently at SFAR when they qualified the team for the CAF Champions League. After finishing as a league runners up in Morocco, he worked with Nabi at the Young Africans in Tanzania. He will work closely with coaches Nabi and the second assistant Fernando da Cruz. Second assistant coach Fernando da Cruz is just like the boss Nabi. Coach Cruz has a UFR Pro license, 
the French born the cruiser also work in different countries as a coach, technical director, scout and a youth coach in countries such as Belgium, France and Morocco. Goalkeeping coach Elias Mzuji, he possesses an extensive experience having worked with a number of teams in Africa and the Middle East. He also worked as the goalkeeper coach for the Mauritanian national team. He was worked at the Tunisian football club experience D Tunis and also held jobs in UAE, Saudi Arabia and Libya. So he teams up with Khalid Ben Youssef and Mejdi Safi working with the team at State Tunisian during the 2019-20 season. Strength and conditioning coach and assistant coach Safi Mehdi. The coach has worked with some of the top footballers in some of the leading teams in Africa. He worked with the Adole Ducey Hell in Tunisia, who they won the league at 2022-23. He also worked with the Raja Casablanca at Weden Atlantic in Morocco. There was no comment on the previous members of the technical teams under Mulefin and Calvin Johnson.